Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 7 of the HTML web programming tutorial series. And in today's episode, I'm going to be introducing you to three different types of links inside of your website, showing you what they can do, and most importantly, showing you how to go ahead and create them. So before, let's just go ahead and show you what these links can do, uh, the three different types of links that we have. So first and foremost, we just have a standard link. Whenever you click this, it's going to take you to some kind of different page uh, usually defined by a URL so if I go ahead and click my link here which I've attached to this little header it's gonna take us to some page this page uh, in this case is gonna be the Virtus edu uh, channel page on YouTube as that is what I've signed uh, defined in the source in the code here so that's the first type of link and this kind of type of link can be used to uh, navigate users to different pages on your website or even just link off to things like your social media pages or so on and so forth so the next kind of link that we have is uh, pretty much attaching it to an email address so you can see I've got a link here when I go ahead and click it I can make Make it go ahead and open up the uh, default email client and then go ahead and create uh, allow you to send an email to an email address that is predefined and so and also subsequently also have a predefined uh, subject title which I've set up here and lastly we've got a link which essentially just takes the user to a location on the page so for example if I make this browser real nice and small click this last little link I've got here and it will take me uh, to where if I, wherever I set it uh, just pretty much moving the browser so so the way this works is it essentially just uh, takes the user to some kind of uh, tag uh, which is locked to a location and then it just browse it just takes you down to that. This is really great for the user if you do not necessarily want them to go through a whole bunch of text. You know this will be used for uh, something like a sort of summary, uh, like the different topics you cover, categories and so on and so forth. So having said that, let's just go ahead and uh, I'm just going to quickly get rid of all my code uh, related to links here, which should be relatively quick and simple. Also, creating links is very simple, so just keep that in mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of my little anchor A tags here. If I go ahead and press save, refresh, and they should all be gone. Uh, all but one. Now in terms of links they work pretty much in exactly the same way as uh, most tags do. Essentially they're just a bunch of tags wrapped around um, wrapped around whatever you want uh, to have that interactivity or whatever you're trying to apply to it. So to, let's just go ahead and start creating the very very basic link. So let's just go ahead and try and uh, link this text up here in the top uh, to some kind of external web page. So to do that all you gotta do is just go ahead and surround uh, whatever it is you want to be linkable uh, uh, with these anchor A tags. Just do that, just go ahead and uh, just make sure you've got the start of it open bracket a close bracket and then at the end of it just go ahead and do the same open bracket uh, forward slash a and close that off now inside of the opening a bracket we need to set kind uh, some kind of source usually it's going to be in the f in the form of a URL so to do that just go ahead and type href equals and then two little quotation marks similar to what we did in um, in the image tags now in here we need to go ahead and set our website location now for the most part you can't necessarily just go ahead and type www.google inside of that uh, usually it won't work having said that you need to use a full proper link so having said that you need to uh, set like the protocol as well like http and then double and then semicolons double slash and uh, it should work perfectly so I'm just going to go ahead and save that refresh and uh, boom, there we go. It now takes us to Google or wherever you want uh, it to take you. Now you can use this method for taking users to different pages on your website, as I mentioned previously, or even social media pages, uh, and so on and so forth. So the next type of link we can play around with is uh, mail to links. These essentially just link some kind of object to uh, a mail. Um, also before I do go on to that I do want to uh, mention that you can actually use all manners of links on different objects. So these links can be used on images, text, 
uh, and so on and so forth. But it's pretty easy to explain. You don't necessarily need to uh, see me doing it. Feel free to experiment with that. So the next link, as I said, is a mail to link. So to create one of these, all you got to do is just go ahead and uh, do his little anchor tags again. You know, open bracket A. Uh, you know, then close it off, and then just do a closing anchor tag as well. And uh, we pretty much got the basics of our mail to link. Now, uh, previously uh, we created a little href inside of that anchor tag. We gotta do the same, and then just which is essentially just href equals, and then these two uh, quotation marks. However, inside of this, we need to do something a little bit different. Instead of putting in a link, we're going to be typing in mail to semicolons and then you need to go ahead and put in the email address so for example if I wanted uh, them to contact my email address I'd go ahead and put it in like this edu at gmail dot com and then after that we can uh, just make sure that it's still encapsulated in that a tag is that is a slight problem that I occasionally get Now we can also define the subject if we want to so if you want to do that All you got to do is just after the email address in uh, Inside of the email address sorry next to next to it uh, just go ahead and do question mark and then subject and then equals and then just put whatever you want uh, to the subject to be so in my case I'm going to set this to hello world I'm going to go ahead and save that and we will go ahead and test it by clicking this link and you can see that it's gone ahead and uh, pretty much allowed us to open up an email a new fresh email to vertusedu at gmail.com however there does seem to be some kind of slight problem it's not quite picking up the uh, subjects properly. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done here. Mail to at Virtus edu uh, and there we go. Uh, you can see that it is simply because I missed out the J in subject. So just a quick reminder there, whenever you're writing your code, make sure you do not make any spelling mistakes as it can ruin something properly. So if I go ahead and test that again here, you can see that it's now working and it opens up our default web client. Now, for, just keep in mind, for this to work, you need to make sure that uh, you have some kind of web client installed on your computer and set up for you, uh, you know, and you'll be able to see if it works uh, just as it will do for the user. So the last type of uh, link that I want to go over is going to send a user to a specific location on the page. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that. So let's just quickly save and refresh just to make sure we're up to date on our page here. So you've probably seen uh, little links which take you further down a page for navigation, you know, just easily getting to places. So that's pretty much what we're going to be creating uh, today. So to do that, first and foremost, we need to define the location uh, that you want this link to take us to. So in my case, I'm going to uh, set this link to take us to the very bottom of the page. So what I'm going to do is just under this little line here, uh, sorry, just before body, the very end, I'm going to go ahead and put in the tag for this. So to do that, all you got to do is just uh, open bracket A, close that. And then just do the uh, closing a tag again. Now inside of the first one, what we need to do is set a target. And this is defined by the name. So to do that, just go ahead and type in name equals and then set some type of name. So in this case, I'm going to be link. I'm going to set the target to link to end. Now keep in mind, this is case sensitive. So make sure you just keep that in mind. So if I go ahead and press control save, refresh and you will not see there's nothing that's appeared this will not be seen by the user however if you're to go ahead and set a link to take you down there it will and that's what they'll be clicking to uh, take you down to the bottom of the page so what we're going to do is we're going to set the second heading text here uh, to uh, take us down to the bottom of the page so let's just go ahead and do that real quick just open up the anchor tags like i showed you previously and then just make a closing one uh, just like that, just to encap encapsulate all of the text that we want. Uh, inside of there, we're now just going to go ahead and uh, set the href, uh, the source to um, 
to the name of our link. So to do that, just go ahead and type in link to end or whatever you set it to. Now, by default, this will not work. So what you need to do is just go ahead and put this little uh, number sign in here. If you can't see it, just make sure uh, you go ahead and take a closer look. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open up Notepad real quick, just so you can see the exact um, you know, symbol that I am using. So let's just go ahead and select that, format, uh, make this nice and big uh, for you guys to see, and there we go, that's the symbol that we need. So there we go. So it's just to recap, we need to first define the location of where we want uh, the browser to be taken to, and then we also need to create a new link, uh, you know, where you where the user will be clicking to take them to the target and inside of this you're going to be href and that little symbol and then just the name of the target so if we go ahead and press control save refresh and this should now hopefully work when we click it now the reason you can't see it working at the moment is because it can't necessarily scroll us down because there's no space to scroll down so for example if I was to go ahead and make this browser nice and small as if there was more content and go ahead and click it, it's going to take us all the way down to the bottom of the page here as you can see. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about for links. Feel free to experiment with different, time, uh, different types of link, uh, those being just standard links, mail to links, and then these lovely links which take you to places on your page. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. Feel free to watch the video again if you couldn't quite follow along, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.